Good early morning, world. Matthew back with the Questioning Center. Driving in my car after a long time of not making a video for my car. And tonight is a, a full moon night, so you know I'm out here doing my research here. And uh, the, the full moon's on my left, on the left of where I'm driving at. The nature Park Reserve. Um, let's see. Let's see the moon. Yeah, I'm the only car on the road, obviously, here. That's the moon. It's a full moon tonight. And uh, I'm driving down the street, and it's like off, uh, on and off fog on the street. It's a little, you know, a little interesting, you know, airy kind of. Uh, you know, very scenic, really. Uh, it's uh, a park that's in the, it has a, a river that's in the middle of it. This park with uh, trails, you know, you have all the all the things that you need for wildlife area. It's a big park, about I'd say about uh, a thousand or eleven hundred acres, square acres. Um, I'm back in more of a, a city area of this park. Now that I can see a couple cars and some houses now. I wanted to make this video because it is a full full moon and I'm constantly looking for the Michigan dog man. Now this creature is very elusive because there have been sightings of the Michigan dog man in cities and there have been sightings of, you know, of course in rural areas and in uh, parks and um, yeah, you can just imagine one just running out in the road or something. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So yeah, um, I'm doing research on those kind of creatures. So it is very, it's very you know unique and um, you know eye opening literally because what are these things that these people are seeing out in this um, this world we live in? Like where are they coming from? How are they getting to this dimension? Is it because they've always been here, or is it because of wormholes and teleporters? Uh, I really have no, I have the foggiest idea because <laughs> I see a lot of fog in this road. Uh, you know, I've only been in this park once for work, um, for uh, city work, government work. But uh, I'll be, you know, going wherever I have to, really, because I'm, I'm living on my own, really. Um, I do live in my girlfriend's house from time to time, but um, it's really, you know, I'm trying to live out my car, really live off the car lifestyle and so that's going to be a new experience for me and uh, I have my eyes on everything out here really uh, yeah probably during the daytime when I get sunlight I can uh, you know explore these trails out here it's a very fun area we got here because there, there's not a lot of people here obviously um, on this road I've been driving for about three minutes straight and it's uh since the last time I said I saw you know cars and a, a couple houses um, I've not seen any other cars and uh, houses and it's nearly 4 30 a.m. and I have to say when I was measuring the moon it's uh it's, it's, it's south in the sky it's about southeast in the sky from where um you know I'm here in southeast Michigan is southeast in the sky and it's a full moon tonight so that's a perfect video to record for you know werewolves or dogman creatures and I want to you know give a little update from the last video because I did burn my absentee voter ballot and I just wanted to say that you know I, I did that because both of these candidates are being paid by the evil man that does you know, genocide in, in foreign land that doesn't belong to him. And it's very unethical, it's very disheartening to see. Uh, it's also, you know, Kamala Harris, you know, she's the politician that was laughing at locking up people for weed. She's uh, very hypocritical in that regard. Not as a big hypocrite as a Donald Trump, but I can't vote for a president given um, how, how I feel about these politi 
po- politicians and how they treat us. And they treat us like our voice doesn't matter and it's supposed to be democracy. And uh, that has nothing to do with, you know, cryptids. But that's just, a, you know, the election cycle that is every four years in America. It's very, you know, attention grabbing. You know, they want to see if they can take our attention, which means they can take our energy. They can use our energy for anything they want and they can support genocides with our taxpayer dollars, which really, if you think about it, time is money and then money is energy that you use after you're done working. Because I just got off of work because I work overnights um, at a part-time job and, you know, they took my time, my energy, and they're giving me money in return. That's the trade-off, really. So, you know, I just wanted to make this video because, you know, I want to let y'all get, get a little update on my uh, journeys uh, under this full moon in Michigan as we look for the Michigan Dogman. And I hope that you understand where I'm coming from as a journalist, as a recent college graduate from December. And I will be doing more of these videos where I can um, go out into a rural parks and areas where there's less people right because so i just drove down the street at, at the park where uh, i saw a deer so you know deer are food for the dog man so that's a great sign because i'm gonna have to be looking for you know food sources of these dog man creatures because they have to eat food if they're flesh and blood creatures and that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I might do a video later on today. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a journalist. Uh, so until the next video, like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and enjoy the best of your business as I do with the question and say. Thank you. Have a great night. Signing off.